Welcome back to the Court TV Saturday Night Solution. Tonight, Kristen and I are looking at the work of forensic artists. We now open up the digital domain. It's the newest color on the forensic artist palette, forensic animation. Animation is not just for fairy tales anymore. It's now being used to tell crime stories in courtrooms across the country. Suddenly, jurors in a case feel like they're actually witnesses. A study found that jurors were twice as likely to remember a visual presentation over an oral one and six and a half times more likely to remember a combined visual oral presentation. Those are impressive numbers. Right now, we'll put that phenomenon... to the lateral aspect of the skull. There is a fracture of the temporal bone resulting in damage to the underlying middle meningeal artery located beneath the temporal bone. Tearing of this artery results in hemorrhaging and an accumulation of blood between the skull and the membranes that surround the brain. The linear fracture of the skull extends downwards towards the ear and then medially towards the base of the skull. Vertigo is defined as an abnormal sensation of rotary movement associated with difficulty in balance, gait, and navigation of the environment. The forces placed on the skull by the impact result in a linear fracture of the temporal bone which traverses the floor of the middle cranial fossa, the bone that encases the structures of the inner ear. In this case, the fracture could affect the integrity of the bony labyrinth located within the structure. The bony labyrinth encloses the membranous labyrinth located within the semicircular canals. This is the organ responsible for our sensing that fluid, the endolymph. These changes would stimulate the receptors responsible for equilibrium and thus result in an altered sense of balance. The fracture itself can also result in physical irritation causing inflammation of the receptors within the inner ear or the sensory nerves that combine to create the vestibular component of the eighth cranial nerve. This nerve sends signals to regions of the brain associated with balance. Our surgery was botched by the surgeon and we had plenty of testimony from, from experts and from doctors who had cared for this woman about what had gone wrong but we couldn't illustrate it through words alone. We needed to paint a literal picture for the jury. So we prepared a computer animation. And to do that, we hired a physician from the West Coast who prepares animations himself. And he worked directly with our client's treating physician to identify exactly what had gone wrong and to illustrate it. The virtual perfectly. consultation personal injury version is designed to enable both doctors and legal professionals to easily explain the impact of automobile accidents. Our 3D models are accurate, easy to use, and developed in accordance with the best research and textbook materials available. Let's take a minute to review a few features in Virtual Consultation PI. A great place to start is the cervical whiplash feature. Here we show the mechanics of whiplash on the right and the soft tissue damage which occurs on the left. Would you like to explain to an accident victim exactly what a bulging or herniated disc looks like and link their injury to symptoms they are experiencing? It's easy to do with one of our three interactive charts, including peripheral nervous system. Custom Dermatomes. playlist feature allows you to build a list of animations to run automatically for you. Each animation has professional voice narration included. Close inspection of an area of the outer surface of the brain and inner surface of the skull during the initial impact shows the soft, fragile brain scraping against the hard, jagged inner surfaces of the skull to create shearing forces. As the gray matter, comprised of cell bodies, and the white matter, comprised of axons, are of two different densities, the shearing forces create a plane of cleavage the axons may be completely torn, partially torn, or separated from their connections with other cells. Thousands or even millions of scattered axons may be torn, but unless some of the larger and more resilient arteries are also torn, no bleeding occurs. side of the brain pulls away from the fox. Because the fox is rigid, the axons that comprise the corpus callosum are torn and broken. Again, 
Thousands of axons may be torn without being evident on imaging studies. 